You've probably heard or used this expression, I have really good parking karma, or ooh, that is gonna bring you some bad karma. And yes, it does mean, partially anyway, this law that what you do comes back to you. But what you may not know is that is only a very tiny, small piece of what karma is. The word karma, just in its own, means action. And then another thing is that when we talk about good parking karma or someone doing something bad karma, that is a law. But there's another way of looking at karma that's called karma kanda, is a worldview of looking at I only do something good so I can get something back. If you've worked in a yoga studio or been in a yoga studio, you might hear somebody being called a, a karmi. Well, that's not necessarily a compliment. Being a karmi is someone that lives in that view of karma kanda, that they only give so they could get. But back to that look at karma as a law. It would seem very, very simple. What you do comes back to you. But what we learn in yoga philosophy is that though this seems really simple, is we have to remember that yoga philosophy teaches us that we are eternal. And so what we have done for many, 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 many lives comes back in this life. And so what one person does, it isn't as simple as I slap someone, I get slapped back. The repercussions of what we've done karmically may not play out for two, three, five, ten lifetimes. And ultimately, and this is the big news that most people do not know, that karma is not a punishment. Even bad karma is not a punishment. It is a correction. So karma isn't like the vice principal of your, of your junior high school. It isn't the mean person at your work saying you were bad. It is simply this system that is trying to get you to realize, hey, you're going the wrong way. You're going out there. And where you want to go is in here. So yeah, it's kind of fun to joke about, yeah, bad karma, good karma. But karma is a much more complex issue. And yoga philosophy shows us all the faces of karma, including the fact that it's, it's not a punishment that is actually a guide bringing us back to who and what we really are, which is a soul. Yoga philosophy can give you the tools to not be that karmi yoga. So we will help you detach from wanting things to always go your way to realizing I only can do the best I can and then I let go of the rest, knowing that I have done the best and it was the right thing to do. And looking at the many, many faces of karma can really lead to a life that is not just peaceful, but there's something above peace and that's joy. And it's joy because it's doing the right thing and it's almost like a coming home to yourself. And that is what yoga philosophy can help you with. So thank you so much for listening. Namaste.